Welcome to another tutorial on the sequencer within Omnisphere. This particular tutorial is going to get quite complex, uh, but I'll try and take it as slowly as possible so you can follow along. Because what today we're going to do today is build a sequencer that has a ratchet effect. Now, for those that don't know what a ratchet effect is, it's something that came into being with the Berlin School of Music. Um, think of Tangerine Dream. So as long as get done for any copyright infringement, if you search in uh, YouTube for Silver Scale Tangerine Dream, um, and you'll probably see a mix where it says Silver Scale Horns of Doom, have a listen to that and you'll hear a sequencer going along. And as it goes along, it repeats certain notes. It sounds like it's repeating notes and it's that's the ratchet effect. So it's pretty cool when it gets going. Now you're going to think, Omnisphere, but you can't do that because you need a big behemoth of a synthesizer like one of those wall-to-wall -wall Mo Moog or Moog synthesizers. Um, but, well, you can. We're going to show you how to do this. So without further ado, we'll uh, start with a completely blank patch. So it's not to colour anything here. Um, now what we need is something that's quite fat sounding, so source square fat will obviously name one says on the tin. Uh, now have a guess which filter we're going to use. We're going to use the nice rich and moggy 3 or moogy 3. Still debating on whether you say moog or moog, but hey, there we go. So uh, we'll leave the cutoff and resonance where it is for now. Now to make it nice and deep we'll have a have the unison, we'll engage unison for a change. So um, what we'll do here is keep the spread there, we'll go down an octave. So you get so that's without that's with the unison so it gives a nice nice deep effect there. Uh, we'll detune that fully left, so there's no detune with it. Uh, and I think, yeah, we'll leave everything else as it is. So, part way there to get the sound. Now, we need it quite snappy, so we'll have the ADSR envelope. That's the uh, attack, uh, depth, sustain, release, decay, sorry, sustain, release. Um, we'll have that leave there, we'll have that there. We'll leave them where they are. And we need that filter a bit more snappy than it is, so we'll bring this down a bit. Uh, about 0.25 will do it. Not that, that much of a... There you go, you see how it's cutting it. Cutting the filter from opening. So we'll make that... Open that smidgen. Okay, now we'll get the ARP going. I know you're all dying for this bit. Get the ARP going. So we'll have all these on. It's a quick way of doing that. Oops. We don't want to do that. If I do blank 16. Easy doing that way. I know someone's going to tell me in the comments that there's something, some way of getting all these on in one go. So please feel free if you do, that will be helpful. So what have we got here? You yeah, will have an 8th clock. There we go. So let's get a sequence going. If we get that uh, plus 12, plus 15, uh, plus 7. That's gonna groove. Yeah, plus twelve. Go on, go back up an octave. We'll start coming down. As we'll yeah, this is this is gonna groove. Modulate the length with randomize. There we go. 
Right, now, this is going to be the effects page. This, you're going to think I'm going to go mad here, but or I've completely lost the plot, but nope. We are going to have two delays and a little bit of reverb. And I say a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to turn these down to nothing on the mix. Don't want to bounce. I've got to turn the feedbacks down as well. So I'm going to get a neutral tone and send them up. Don't have to be exact. A bit. As long as they're the same. Uh, that's okay. Alright, so 132. Bounce that. So I have them the same. Same. Right, level's fine. Yeah, we'll leave them the same. Right, okay. So that's your FX setup. Now going to get the ratchet going now so we go to these wonderful mod envelopes these are the ones that are going to uh, give that ratchet sound so I'll just play with these a minute just knock them up a bit that sounds a bit rude that knock them up a bit I don't want to do that um, <laughs> So there we go right now let's have a look right now we've got these wonderful curves that you can if you double click you can put another point in which is what we we want to do and we want to keep it locked and snapped to the grid we want it locked to the grid really more than snapped um, so if I zoom out a bit because otherwise we'll be help whoop zoom in sorry as will be whole all day. As I don't have my glasses on tonight, this is gonna be a bit fun. Um, get a couple there, right? Now we need to get a square in there, and I've gone undone too many. So I'll remove that one. Come on. It's not going to work for me, is it? There we go. That's better. And we bring that one down. It's too high. We need that one down there. We need a like a little square. Zoom. That's what I was after. I wonder where the one had gone then. So that's not right. So we need to move those in. Move that in there. Bring that across. Nice square there. And about this that there. further in. I'm going to move that one first. There we go. Uh, so we need that one and that. You understand why I've got another point here. Because uh, this sets up ratchet and you will see that in motion very shortly this is a I want to stop it about six. I wonder what's that gone and done. If we go back to FX and right click, you can modulate and you want all mod sources 
and the mod envelope one. So at the moment we've got we engage mod envelope one and you get so that's one part of the ratchet. We now need to get another part of the ratchet. So again we lock so we keep to the grid. We'll stick that one there. We'll put one here. One here. Come on. We need to move up. Come on. There we go. I know I'm not talking to myself. I'm keeping my twin company because I'm I'm a Gemini, so we can us Geminis can get away with that type of thing. So we'll put that there. That part way along. Get another point. Snap that there, snap that there. Pull that out to about six again. And stick one. Don't go over there. Go there. Pull it out to six. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second delay. Modulate that. And we're going to do that with mod envelope two. And now you get. Nice doubling effect on the ratchet. Now with the ARP, if you want, you could have it go with two octaves. Um, a bit more flavour. I'm going to do my favourite trick, which is modulate the resonance with an LFO. We'll sync that. Give that a three times, but don't go too mad with the depth. So 0.5 will do it. some nice movement to the sound. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy a layer A, copy layer, click on B, we're going to paste layer. That's going to give us exactly the same sound on um, layer B. But what I want to do on this one is now let's find Alpha Juno Alpha Juno comb, that's the one I was after. So now when we put that on, we get this. We'll take the unison off, we don't want to use on this, this particular layer, otherwise it'll be a little bit too much. Uh, just a touch of unison does go a long way, but now you get this. So there we go, that's that's the basics. Um, and I guess we started with building our patch that we're going to fill. So this sounds good, it's a nice ratchet. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to expand that a little bit further. Okay, so now we've got our basic uh, channel there. We're going to swap to channel two. But before we do, we're going to change Channel 2's output to channel 1. So when I press the notes on the keyboard, I'm going to also operate the second channel at the same time. Now what we're going to do for this one, we're going to put a synth on, square saw bright, we'll have Rich and Moogie resonance up a bit, and we're going to modulate that one with an LFO. We'll sync that bring the depth down a bit so we're not going too mad get this LFO running a bit quicker than the last one tell you what we're going to do 
going to mute that other layer so we can actually hear. So I guess a nice warm sound on that. I think that's the technical term. Warm. So here we go. Uh, we'll go for analog timbers now. Alpha Juno comb. Again, we'll engage same filter. This time we won't modulate this particular layer on the on the resonance. Does that engage it? Bring it up a bit. There we go. That's nice. All right. Um, let's get the ARP going on this one. So we want to try and get something slightly different with this. So we'll blank that. And what we'll do, we'll run it at half the length of the what channel one's going to do. So it's going to repeat a bit sooner. And again, we'll set this to eight o'clock, knock the length back a bit, and then modulate that with another randomize. A little high pitch, so what we're going to do, we're going to knock that down octave. There we go. Now we're going to have some fun with these effects because uh, we've already got plenty of delay on there, so we'll, we'll uh, keep that on our resonators, resonate, quad resonators. There we go. So we don't want to go too much with the resonator, we want to just keep that down a bit. Uh, we'll turn that right off to the left. That's there. That's there. We'll have C3 as our root note for this. And we'll uh, engage that positive. And yeah, that'll be alright on there. So, the next thing we need, we're going to add even more delays. Yes, there's always room for more delay. So we'll have feedback, yeah, we'll leave those where they are. A bit of reverb. Okay. So at that point, we're going to modulate that with another LFO. That's too much. Need to come back a bit on that. Uh, sync. No, make that nice and smooth. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't do with the others. Uh, LFO two. We've got to keep the LFOs running smooth on each layer, otherwise you'll get strange clicking sound so anything with LFO is going to have smoothness put on it. Right, so this is just channel 2 running now. Now we're going to engage channel 1 at the same time and this is what you get. That is just holding three notes. Octaves of three, well, three octaves of C, so uh, C2, C3, C4, uh, if you want the MIDI notes. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm just going close to the mic so I don't, uh, you can still hear me. Uh, we're going to have a look at the arpeggiator, and what you can do, change the octave. There we go, a nice rapturous effect within Omnisphere. Um, sequence that you can build upon, put a few chords on, um, and there we go. And to bring this uh, short tutorial, well, it was going to be a short tutorial, but I think it's turned into a, quite a long one, so apologies for that. We're just going to open a patch of uh, a case of 
here's one I've made earlier. Um, I'll just slap a um, go to the multi. I'm just gonna slap a limiter on this so I can talk to you while I. There we go. Right. Um, it can sound quite harsh. This is a patch similar to what we just built. And what we're going to do here is because it can sound quite abrasive, all these sort of squares, so we'll change a couple of these to triangles. Um, makes it softer. And instead of a solid German, you could have a warm, soft pulse. If you're going to do that, I would just bring these up a little bit. Turn the resonance down a bit. So you can, can mould these to however you want them to. If you want a hard brush one, go with these, the saw squares. Uh, if you want a mellowy tune, then uh, I'd go with triangles and signs. So I trust this uh, little tutorial was helpful for you. Um, and if you enjoyed it, by all means, give it a, a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support me, you can pop on over to me Patreon page. Uh, link is in the um, description below. Uh, and also check out my website, biodial.com. So until next time, take care.